Ha ha, beat you. It's so <laughs> We're not at 322 yet. Watch out. I'm walking through the Brazil airport and we're headed back home. I can't wait to get back home. To the left, to the left, our gate is to the left. And uh, we'll eventually get there. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Telephones. Yeah. Well, here we are. Getting ready to go home. 322. Everyone smile. 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 So that was the family picture. So we were getting ready for an eight hour flight. Unfortunately. Brown eye, I mean the red eye, which takes us out. Ooh, you got some mopes on your forehead. Stop! Well, those are Brazilian mosquitoes. You know some are really um, dangerous. Oh, that was a very profound thought, thanks for sharing. Well, just a few things I couldn't notice while walking through the airport. This airport is essentially a new shopping mall, which is not unusual in many um, airports, especially in the international airports. We have lots of different uh, shops for you to spend your money, to be free, etc. However, um, there's some really high-end shops here, which uh, I was surprised by. Given the massive disparity of income that we uh, got to experience in the country, and <clears throat> we're balling out of control, so we're flying first class, and I'll share what that's like because I've never, uh, well, I've <laughs> I've flown first class before, but not in a first class. Uh, I don't even know what they're called, lounge, pod, whatever, um, but a full bed. So that should be pretty cool and uh, help this eight hour flight go fast. It's been fun, it's been exhausting. Fortunately, I am uh, dosed up heavily on horse tranquilizer, so I tend to be asleep for most, most of the flight. What? What? Um, what? They are too, they just don't know it yet. But um, yeah, we're all gonna be in deep coma soon. Too. So we're just waiting in line and uh, given we are priority first class ticket holders, we don't have a line. Uh, but the plane's not here yet, so I suspect we'll be waiting for a little bit. But all that being said, um, I did lots of 360 tours, which I'm going to pop in here so you can see driving through Sao Paulo and uh, Sao <laughs> and see the big difference between the haves and the have-nots when we went into, um, now to be clear, I've been to many different cities, poverty is a thing, homelessness is a thing, crime is a thing everywhere, I've been to Detroit, I've been to California, I've been to San Francisco, I've been to New York, I've been to Austin, Texas, I've been to Portland, Oregon, I've been to every city in Florida, <coughs> and Miami is no exception, the same things happen <coughs> there that happen here, but the, um, the devaluation of the currency, the political instability, the massive disparity between the haves and the have-nots really is eerily similar to what I expect we will likely see at some point here in the future. So I figured I'd do a video on it while we're here at the airport killing time. 
and um, why the hell not, right? Um, one thing that was unusual, we went into downtown Sao Paulo and we did a lot of touristy things. We were walking through, I guess what we would call a rough area. And we passed through a few of them. A few of them where we were, we were even in the vehicle. And I was instructed to put down my cell phone, lock the doors, uh, keep my head on the swivel. But um, traffic is so bad that everything is at a standstill. So it's not like you can drive away, you're stuck. And if someone wants to jack you for your shiznit, they can. And uh, iPhones are a, uh, a valuable item and they'll get jacked. So <coughs> I laughed because I had the 360 camera mounted to the top of the car and um, they were gonna jack anything. I assumed they would jack that. However, they would be on video. So uh, if the police did their job, which was probably not gonna happen, um, they could probably track them down. But all that being said, we're, uh, visiting my father-in-law we're at his flat which is uh two stories up and it overlooks a uh, really picturesque picturesque street but off one of the main streets and uh, everything's walkable there's great public transportation he's right next to or a block away from the subway so he drives very infrequently but as we were there enjoying dinner chilling out um, he's an artist we're checking out some of his paintings and a fight broke out in the street. And I shouldn't really call it a fight. It was more of a, uh, <laughs> a cry for help. Some um, gentleman who was obviously mentally unstable was in the middle of the street, um, which there was traffic at, and he's just screaming for help. And he's losing his mind. He's probably on drugs. I don't know. Um, I... <laughs> was encouraged not to stand over on the balcony and uh, watch or record. Um, I did record I the video, but anyhow, he was in a, I suspect, he was in a restaurant <coughs> and didn't have any money, and um, I guess he was asked to leave. I don't know if that's true, he may have just been outside begging. But he was screaming, begging, please, please, help, please help. I mean, and he was off the reservation. Um, it looked like he was going to get violent, which is really interesting to me because I was curious to see how that would resolve itself. But um, that went on for probably about 10 minutes, and it was quite a show. <coughs> Eventually, uh, I think the owner came out and gave him a loaf of bread or something and uh, satisfied him, and off he went. But he had ripped off his shirt. He, again, I don't speak Portuguese. I don't know what he was saying. But it seemed like he was indicating he was going to light himself on fire, which that is not my experience in South Florida. And um, yes, there are plenty of Florida man stories that you may have heard of. And um, most of them aren't true. Um, but this could have been. And so, all right, we're about to board, so away we go. You will never, ever, ever, ever get back together. No, 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 Which one of me? You're here. There's a purse! Look at all the gear we got going on over here. Pillow. National nice pillow. Oh no, this is a blanket. I don't know what this is. That's a pillow. 
we got some swag. Is it swag or swag? Video game thing. Video game thing. Do they have a muzzle? Stop. This is so cool. There's, it looks like it's for TV, but yeah. What do you think? There's a thing that says video game on it. Yeah, they don't have any. They're all broken. What is this, Mom? Well, it shows you how much I know. This is actually a mattress. Or is this the mattress? I'll figure it out here. Sponsored by Jasper. Can I get a bed? Look, yours is on the floor. Look at what I have and find the same thing you have and you'll know that it's the exact one. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think, Soy? Uh, what do you think, Brooke? Cool. We're gonna remember this time forever. We were in Brazil, and when we we show the video again, we're gonna remember it. In 12 years. In 12 years. How old are you? Doing?